the 11th edition um, of Thomas's Calculus, and I am in section 11.2 on infinite series, looking at number one. Okay, I'm asked to look at the series. 2 plus 2 thirds plus 2 ninths plus 2 twenty sevenths plus some other terms. It looks like they give us a description of the nth term. It's 3 to the n minus 1. <coughs> now I can consolidate all of that and say that in sigma notation, this is 2 over, let's see, why is there an n minus 1 there? It's like we could think of this as 2 over 1, so that is, I can think of that 1 as 3 to the first power, no, 3 to the 0th power. So I think what they mean is for n, the indexing variable here to start with 1, and that way when I put 3 to the n minus 1 over there, the first term in the sum with n be 1 is 3 to the 1 minus 1. Just give me that 1. Okay, that sounds good. And there's supposed to be infinitely many terms here. Okay, I think I get it. Now, it says find a formula for the nth partial sum. Hmm as capital nth partial sum. Um, sum from lowercase n is 1 to capital N, 2 over 3 to the n minus 1. Now, I'm supposed to find a formula for this. That seems to be a formula right there, but I think what the authors have in mind is perhaps something simpler than that. I remember reading in the book that the nth partial sum, when written out, looks like um, 2 over 3 to the 0th plus 2 over 3 to the 1st plus and <coughs> Let me put in some ellipses here. Uh, 2 over 3 to the capital N minus 1. And then if you multiply uh, that nth partial sum by 1 third, right, the first line here implies that if I multiply that by 1 third, that I get, oh, just to make things line up, I'll put in this. Okay, then this would say um, 2 over 3 to the first would be the first term in that. Uh, going all the way out to 2 over 3 to the capital N minus 1, there will be one more term here, and that will be 2 over 3 to the capital N, right? The last term is capital N. And that means, <coughs> by the way, this goes both ways. Uh, that means that if I take the difference of the nth partial sum and one third of the nth partial sum, that I get, okay, so every term here minus all the terms here, that is 2 over 3 to the 0. Uh, all these terms cancel each other in that subtraction, and I am left with a 2 over 3 to the capital N, or simplified 2 times 1 third plus 1 third to the capital nth power. Okay, so over here, if I wanted to isolate capital N, I 
isolate capital N. That would mean uh, factor out Sn from both of these will give me the 1 minus 1 third. I divide by that, I'll get 2 times 1 third plus 1 over 3 to the capital N divided by 1 minus 1 third. And that, I can say, goes to 2 times 1 third over 1 minus 1 third, which is 2 times 1 third over 2 thirds. Let's see. Oh, that is 1. Everything cancels. The 2 and the 2 cancel. The 1 third and the 1 third cancel uh, as capital N goes to Okay, now I could go back and use the definition of convergence of a sequence, the sequence of partial sums, and construct what, what's often called a delta epsilon proof, but I think I've exercised that enough. I'm pretty certain I could come up with a delta epsilon proof, so I'm going to leave it at this.